Hello fellow makeup lovers, how are you guys doing today? I wanted to go ahead and share with y'all the five palettes that I think are the best pastel palettes you can purchase. I believe all of these are still available, but they are amazing quality palettes. I feel like there are going to be a bunch of pastel releases as the summer goes on. We've already seen some palettes released. One that made me inspired to do this video is the Natasha Rona Pastel Palette. I just felt like it wasn't as good as the other pastel palettes that I have, which are all less expensive. So I really wanted to go ahead and share this with y'all today. I did film a full dupe video of the Natasha Rona Pastel palette using single shadows so if you haven't seen that already I will link it in the cards right here but today we're just gonna be focusing on some really great palettes these are not in any particular order I honestly recommend all of them and I'll kind of go through and recommend each one for whatever reasons so yeah, I'm super excited about this video. So the first palette I want to talk about has been around for a while, but I feel like it is a really great, very underrated pastel palette. So that is going to be the Violet Voss Sugar Crystals palette. I really, really love this one. The packaging is cute, but what really gets me is the layout. I love the way that it looks inside. So the palette has a matte row on top and some of these can pull a little bit more pastel on the eyes. They are a little bit brighter than some of the other palettes I'm going to be talking about today, but I feel like all of these shimmers in here are very pastel. I feel like you can do really beautiful monochromatic pastel looks using each coordinating set of three colors and I just really love the quality of this as well. The mattes are easy to blend, they're pigmented, and all the shimmers are beautiful. They're more of a foiled look, they're not super sparkly, so if you like more of a metallic pastel shimmer versus a sparkly pastel shimmer, then that's what you would get out of these. I'll go ahead and just do a few swatches of some of my favorite shades just to show you. So we can do pistachio here, which is just so pretty could do lemon drop which is a really nice pastel yellow and then let's do let's do lollipop which is kind of like a muted like purpley pinky pastel I just really love all the shimmers that are happening here all right the next palette I want to talk about is the menagerie pastel pup palette I think the packaging is cute, but I know a lot of people think it is creepy, but here is what it looks like on the inside. So the thing with this palette is that it's not my favorite pastel um, formula. It's decent. There's other formulas I like more, and we'll get to that when I, when I get to that palette. I'll tell you my favorite pastel formula of all of these. But as far as color stories go, the thing I really, really love about this palette is that you do have a complete rainbow pastel of mattes in one palette. And although they do tend to hit hard pan if you put your fingers in them, they work really well with a brush. I've done so many looks with this palette that I love. I still love reaching for it a lot just to do like a little pop of pastel. And I just, I really appreciate like the rainbow pastel moment. I have everything I need in here. So just to show you some of my favorite shades, I really like this pink right here, which is called Cuddle. I also really enjoy using that one as a blush shade. I do it a lot with pastel palettes. I will use the pinks and peaches as blushes. And then I also really like the shade Belly Slide, which is a beautiful kind of like periwinkle. And then let's just get Aquatic in here. This is a nice, nice blue as well. There is one shimmer in this palette called Snowball. It's kind of like a purpley blue duochrome. That one's okay but I'm more here just for like the matte rainbow, like I said. So swatches are not the absolute best, but I will try and put any coordinating videos that I have with these palettes down below so you can see how they look on the eyes because sometimes pastels will swatch like that, but when you go in with a primer that's a little bit lighter than your skin tone, you pack it on, kind of try to do minimal blending, you can get so much out of these shades. So the next palette I want to talk about is the Glam Light Ice Cream Dreams palette and this is actually the one that I have on my eyes today. I did film this look as a tutorial for Patreon. 
and I had fun with some of the pastels in this palette, but I'll just show you what it looks like. So the thing with this one is that it's more of like half pastel. You have a bunch of other things going on as well, but I wanted to mention this still as an amazing pastel palette because the pastels that are in here are super nice. I feel like these are really pigmented pastels. You don't have like quite as like a big range of colors, but you still have some purples, some greens, some pinks, little bit of yellow and these do appear very pastel in the eyes I mean I feel like they look kind of bright but you can see they do look pastel and I just have had a really great experience working with them I feel like the mattes blend super easy again kind of same thing I normally just kind of pack them on blend a little bit call it a day and then the one thing that I really love about this as well is that a lot of these have coordinating shimmers that go with the mattes and I think it's super super pretty and super user friendly because Honestly, like you throw this in the crease, throw this on the lid. You have a really beautiful pink pastel look. Throw this in the crease, on the lid. Crease, lid. Crease, lid. Crease, lid. Like I just feel like it's just, it's too easy. It's so nice, so fast to create a really beautiful eye look with this palette. And you have a really nice icy white that I feel like could work on the inner corner for any of these or to kind of like do like a little bit like a white to another shade kind of moment. So I really, really love this palette. I feel like it's one that you get a lot of bang for your buck. So I'll go ahead and, you know, swatch my favorite shades again. We're definitely going to do Cotton Candy here because that is such a beautiful blue. Mm, I think I'm going to do Blueberry Cheesecake. Such a pretty purple. And then we'll do... Mm, we'll do mint chocolate. This is a good one as well. I mean, honestly, I could swatch every single pastel in here and be happy, but I just feel like these are so pretty. I know I said these aren't in any particular order, but I will say that this is my favorite pastel formula. So that is going to be the Shroud Cosmetics Creepy Cute Palette. This is the old packaging. I believe that the new one is a little bit smaller. It's actually the same size as, let me see, I have their Creepy Cute 2 palette that they just came out with. So you can see this one is a little bit smaller. And if you buy the Creepy Cute now, it is the same size as this and they like match, but I've had this for years and I love it. It is such a good pastel formula. So here's what it looks like on the inside. You have six pastel mattes here. You've got some pink, some peach, some purple, some blue, some green, and I just really, really love it. The one thing I will say about this palette is like the black and the gray, like they're fine, they work, but I just kind of wish they weren't in here. I wish that there was a version of this palette that had even more pastel shades because they do pastels so well, but these are just super, super pigmented. And I feel like, I mean, I don't use pastels that differently than other eyeshadows, but I would say of every formula that I've tried, I think that these are the most like other eyeshadows pastels like they're super easy to blend you don't have to be super careful about how you pat them down or blend them up or whatever like i feel like you could just like go in without a care in the world just like throw it in your crease and it'll still look really really good so i just love these with all my heart i also really love the shade strawberry milk as a blush i think it is so so cute <sighs> this is probably the hardest one to choose shades out of to swatch because every single pastel in here is so good but this blue cold shoulder like it is just above and beyond like the prettiest pastel blue it's so bright but pastel at the same time and then let's do creep it real as well because i mean it's such a beautiful mint i mean you guys can see like the pigment on these is so good and we'll do strawberry milk here as well like how how could anyone not be obsessed with this palette so good. And then the last palette I wanted to go ahead and mention is the Blend Bunny Cosmetics Blends palette. So this is another one that I'm mentioning just as a, there are pops of pastel in here that are really nice. So this is more of a like true rainbow palette. You've got a lot going on. You've got some brighter tones. You've got some deeper tones, but I just felt like I had to mention this because in the middle a little bit more, there are a bunch of pastel shades and Blend Bunny has such an amazing formula, so pigmented, so easy to work with. I love reaching for the pastels that are in here. I think they're absolutely stunning, so just wanted to go ahead and mention this as well. If you're looking for a palette that has some really 
really, really great pops of pastel. This is a great one, and I feel like it kind of gives you a little bit of everything that you need. I might swatch a few more than just three in this one because I feel like some people might look at this palette and miss the pastels because so much is going on, but I just want to share them all with you. So we've got Inside Joke here, which is a really beautiful mint. We've got Bubble Bath, which is a lighter blue. We've got Secrets, which is a nice super pastel yellow. We've got Dream, which is a little bit more of like a cornflower pastel blue. First Kiss here, which I would say is like a nice soft peach. We've got Giggle, which I know this looks a little bit brighter, but it does give like pastel purple vibes, especially if you use it with like a lighter shimmer. Look how pretty that is. That's probably one of my favorite shades in this entire palette. I go back to Giggle all the time. And there are also two pastel yellows, or sorry, yellows. Why did I say that? There's two pastel pinks. So we've got Sunsets and Promise. One's a little bit more of a true pink and one's a little bit more of a lilac. I'm running out of space, but I'll, go, I'll swatch those right here just so you can see the pastelness. So like I said, I feel like all of that is a really great amount of pastel shadows in this palette. You've also got the white, you know, if you kind of wanted to lighten anything a little bit more. So I feel like this is just such a great option for a pop of pastel, like I said. So those are all of my favorite pastel palettes right now, my top five. I hope that this video was helpful for you, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!